Have you ever wondered why Japan surrendered on a battleship? There were other possibilities elsewhere to execute a formal surrender. On August 17, 1945, Emperor Michinomiya Hirohito announced Japan's capitulation, and two days later, officials of Japan visited General Douglas MacArthur in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, to negotiate the general's strategy for conquering the country. It's possible that the document was signed there. However, given that a warship is regarded as sovereign territory, forcing the Japanese to pass through a fleet of ships belonging to other nations in the center of their own national capital, while thousands of enemy sailors watched was itself a message. There was no denying that Japan had been defeated. Additionally, none of the Japanese officials were saluted when they boarded the battleship USS Missouri BB-63, as could have been expected according to etiquette. The purpose of the formal surrender ceremony was to make fun of the Japanese government and military in front of the Japanese people. This included every detail, from the size of the table to the distinctions between the two replicas of the surrender documents. The Allies' leather-bound copy and the Japanese copy, bound in canvas.